Hello my dear friends today we are going to solve two illustrations that are on radius of curvature this question particular question is of erodo chapter erodo book that you may be familiar with okay and in the last lecture i told you about the basic formula of radius of curvature that is v squared upon the upon an an is the normal component of acceleration okay and i also told you that always to break up the components of acceleration not velocity okay so i'll give an example that how if we do if we break up the components of the velocity the answer comes and if we do that with the right way so what is the difference between these two okay if you do it the right way there is so much difference see here it will come cos square theta on the numerator here it will come cos square theta in the numerator and here it is just cos theta in the denominator so you can see the difference so be careful with this okay so now let's do this question this is also a basic question so first let's read it a particle is projected with velocity u at an angle theta with the horizontal find the radius of curvature where its line of motion makes an angle theta by 2 with the vertical so i hope that you will attempt this question yourself first and then you will cross check uh, your answer with mine fine so i am solving the question now here we need the radius of curvature so firstly we will break up the components of the acceleration that is g here okay so this is g and the perpendicular component to the velocity will be something like this this whole angle will be 90 because it is perpendicular component of g so by geometry this angle will be 90 minus theta by 2 and this angle will be theta by 2 all right so this perpendicular component comes out to be how much g cos theta by 2 and this component comes out to be g sin theta by 2 but we don't need that okay we only need the normal component for the radius of curvature all right so we all know that radius of curvature is equal to v squared by a normal that is normal component of acceleration which is v squared by g cos theta by 2 but the problem is that here v is a variable how come it is a variable because we have only given in the question that velocity u okay we are not given the velocity v but no problem we can find the velocity v in terms of u so so let's just come back to the chapter projectile motion and i hope that you remember some basic concepts of it so here velocity was u and angle was theta here let's say velocity was v and with the horizontal the angle is theta by t. all right so firstly i want you to know that the acceleration is only in downward direction the horizontal component will always remain the same like we used to do in projectile motion so this will be u cos theta and this component will be v cos theta by 2 all right so as you can see by basic mathematics that these two components must be equal and by basic mathematics you can find easily find the value of v which comes out to be u cos theta whole upon cos theta by 2 so now you know what to do we just need to substitute this component of velocity which is v okay in this radius of curvature expression so it's just too easy now so we'll just substitute and see what the answer looks like so radius of curvature is equal to v squared by g cos theta by 2 so v squared is equal to u squared cos squared theta and here it will become cos squared theta by 2 also and here g cos theta by 2 was already present okay it was already present so i will just write this here downwards all right it was already present all right so it's just calculation so it will be u squared cos squared theta by g cos cubed theta by 2 so this is our answer for radius of curvature and we and you can see we we didn't mug up any formulas okay so there is no rocket scientist in this problem it was very easy problem so if you want i will tell you the radius of curvature formula for any motion let's say particle follows y as a function of x something type of trajectory okay so in that case if we want to write the expression of radius of curvature you can remember this it will be 1 plus dy by dx differentiation of y with respect to x 
whole square and whole bracket raised to 3 by 2 and divided by and divided by d squared y double derivative of y with respect to x all right and this is a module modulus of it so we don't get any negative expression so i hope that you can you are familiar with this or if you not if you're not there is ju just no need for this formula we can easily do this question by common sense common sense means simple mathematics okay so i will just shift this question here it is a calculus based question guys so be ready for some calculus okay so first let us read this question what it is telling that a particle moves in the plane xy with velocity v is equal to a i cap plus b x j cap i cap means x direction and j cap means y direction as you all know so i'll just continue ahead where i cap and j cap are unit vectors of x and y axis and a and b are constants okay we are given that a and b are constants okay at initial moment of the time the particle we have located at the point x equal to y is equal to 0 find the equation of the particle's trajectory and the radius of curvature of the trajectory as a function of x all right so now we can easily solve this question the first part is easy so firstly i want to i want you to try this question yourself so i am just solving it now we are given that v is equal to a i cap plus b x j cap as you can see the y component of the velocity also depends on the x coordinate so i will just do this separately what i will do that i will write this v x as a okay i will just gonna say i'm just gonna separate the v x and v y and i'm gonna write v y as b x all right okay so now so now first i'm gonna find x coordinate with the help of this okay so what i will do i can write vx as dx by dt is equal to a right and dx is equal to a dt is a constant that is told in the question and dx initially it was 0 at equal to 0 that is also given in the question and 0 to 0 to x all right so x will come out to be a t so x coordinate depending with time as a is equal to a x is equal to a t okay so now vy we can write it as dy by dt is equal to bx okay and dy we can write and dt will move that side we will write that x dt and b is a constant but x is not x can be variable here you can see x is variable so it will also come in integration like this from 0 to t and here from 0 to y all right okay from now uh, till now it is quite quite simple but we cannot direct integrate this x we need to uh, find x with respect to time so we already have this that is at so here on further solving we get y is equal to b and x we can substitute it as bt dt from 0 to t and so y we can get as b a b t squared by okay so we have found how y and x coordinate depend upon time okay from now on so from now on it is quite simple we have to find the equation of particles trajectory we have to find the equation of particles trajectory so from here we will substitute time time is equal to x by a and we will substitute here in y coordinate so what will we get is y is equal to a b by 2 into t square t square is x by a and whole square so we can easily get equation of trajectory that is will come out to be bx squared by 2a all right so this is our equation of trajectory although this question was not of circular motion it was of kinematics but it was included in the question so i did it okay so second question is really important for this chapter as it is told to find the radius of curvature as a function of x all right so so we'll not do it the formula way we'll do it the basic for uh, we'll do it this way that i taught you in this previous lecture v squared by a n okay all right so so firstly we have to find how acceleration depends so i'm just writing it different vx was a and vy was ax 
sorry v y was b x sorry sorry v y was b x okay so now so now when we differentiate this d oh, wait 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 d v x by d t will give us the x component of acceleration which comes out to be zero why because a is a constant so there is no acceleration whatsoever in x direction to find the velocity in y uh, sorry acceleration in y direction we need a y is equal to d v y by d t d v y by d t that is b into d x by d t because b is a constant so we are not including that in differentiation okay so we all also know that x as a function of time is a t here okay x as a function of time is a t so it will be b into d by dt into a t so obviously a y will come out to be how much a b which is also a constant so acceleration y direction is a constant and acceleration x direction is zero right perfect so now we have found the acceleration in x and y direction all right so we just need to find the radius of curvature now i'm just writing this is the b part and this is no okay this was the a part okay so now we'll just make up the vector diagram of course so v was how much a i cap plus b x j cap okay all right so a i cap wait i'll just make here a i cap plus b x j cap okay and the velocity will come out to be a under root a squared plus b squared x squared all right like this and this angle will be something like theta okay so the acceleration in x direction is zero but acceleration in y direction is plus plus okay this is the positive direction that is j cap there is no sign of negative uh, that means that is it is in positive direction so here an acceleration is there which is a b okay so i will just erase this and this to make it more clearer and this is the acceleration in y direction so now we all know that we don't have to break the components of uh, velocity we all, we only have to break the components of acceleration i am telling this I I have already told this uh quite a times in this last lecture. Okay, so let's break the component of velocity now. Also, never 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 break the components of velocity. We all, always break the components of acceleration. Okay, so here here this angle is ninety minus theta by two. No, sorry, ninety minus theta, and this angle will be of course theta. So so when we break up the components, this comes out to be how much? A B cos theta, and we don't need the other component, so I'm not writing that one. Okay, so now it's simple. Radius of curvature, radius of curvature is equal to V squared by A normal. Okay, V squared by A normal. So V squared is how much? This squared, this whole function squared. So it will be A squared plus B squared x squared upon A B cos theta. Okay, okay, it's quite clear. But now we have to also find the value of cos theta. Okay, so for that we'll just need to do a little step here, called here it will be here it was a and here it was b x, and here this angle was theta. So now we can write that tan theta. We can write that tan theta is equal to b x by a. All right, we can write tan theta as b x by a. All right, but now we can also find cos theta from this expression. So I'll just write it clearly here. Wait a second. I'll just write here tan theta is equal to b x by a, and cos theta we can write from it as how much a by under root a squared plus P squared x squared. How we can write this? I'll just tell you a short trick. That tan theta is this theta, and tan theta we can write as b x by a same triangle, and this is the hypotenuse that is a squared plus b squared x squared. Okay. So yeah, so cos theta we can easily write 
like this and we can substitute this here okay so radius of curvature a uh, radius of curvature comes out to be how much a squared plus b squared x squared upon a b cos theta is a upon the root a squared plus b squared x squared so i know that it is looking a little bit monstrous but don't worry this expression is like this only okay here it will be 3 by 2 because this will go up and by exponent rule it will be 3 by 2 power and this will be a squared b okay so this is the formula for radius of curvature okay and you can leave it like this or you can simplify little bit that is given in answer key of this erodo book it is simplified like this that radius of curvature is it is given as a by b 1 plus bx by a whole square raised to the power of 3 by 2 it is one and the same thing same expression guys so i hope that you are understood this very carefully it is very important radius of curvature if you wanted if you wanted you could have already solved this by this formula radius of curvature is equal to 1 plus dy by dx whole square raised to 3 by 2 upon double derivative of d squared y by dx squared double derivative derivative of y with respect to x and for using that you would need to use this formula for equation of trajectory and substitute all the way up to here okay so if you wanted you could also solve it like this so friends if you like this video please 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 share it and hit the like button and of course subscribe our channel so new videos will come up and thank you for watching this video